Should this is pretty a pretty broad spillway so that it doesn't wash out too bad. It should just ease right out of here like this and go on around the back side of the tank and bird go do out. You. Clance is trying to bird hunt while we're sitting here. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's that's two he's got since we've been over here getting ready to film. So. Hey guys, so we got some exciting stuff going on today. In today's video, I don't know if this is going to be a video by itself, Eric will edit it if it ain't, but anyways, y'all know we've been having some problems with the tank holding water, and it's not really big enough for what we want it to do, so today we've got a guy coming to clean out this tank and actually expand it and make it bigger, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Huh? I don't know. Oh. So Erica wanted me to inform you guys that this is our before footage. I mean, I would think that would be obvious, but so what the plan is here is we're gonna dig this dirt out on up past this can-am here. We're gonna come up this ditch that feeds the tank, probably another, I don't know, 20 feet or so. So we're gonna not quite double, but it's gonna add another half, you know, 50% more to the tank and uh, just get it bigger, maybe go deeper. I don't know if we're gonna go through this rock that's over here or not, but I'm just gonna let the man that's in charge of tank digging dig the tank and I'm not gonna micromanage. So we'll see and then hopefully we'll get enough rain this winter to fill her up. Yeah. All right, here's your first update. It's been maybe two hours. I think he's probably been here like an hour though. It's been two hours since we took the video. And he's started doing a little digging. So I'll keep you posted. Alright guys, here is the end of day one. Progress. Pretty interesting to watch. The dogs are enjoying it. But... Oh, Kylie's here. You got to leave. Let's tell Kylie, no, you don't want to go home. Let's tell her, tell her no, I don't want to go home, Kylie. Go home. Are you excited? I thought you had fun here. I didn't. Oh, you didn't have fun? Casey, 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 did you have fun here? Yeah? Say, come here, Kylie, come here, Kylie. <gasps> Better watch out. She said, come here. Mama! She's so excited. She's like, mama, you're not, <laughs> that's not her mama. You're not her mama. Oh my God. She don't even want you. Her don't even want you. All right, guys, so a lot of y'all have asked for some uh, updates on what the tank is doing. So I got the tank guy here working on it. I'm going to flip you around and show you what we got going on. So here's where we're at so far. So this tank originally, about right here, it just come right around about where this line, where these, it changes direction and came right back over here. So we've almost, when we get through with this, we'll have almost doubled the size of this tank. So right now what he's doing is he's got this side kind of squared up. He's pushing through up here where the where the black is back here it's going to begin to taper down to about where he's at right there now he's pushing this out and kind of really getting it getting it all about the same size kind of squaring it up making it look good so uh, he's doing a great job one thing a lot of people have asked about in some of our let me make sure i've got y'all in the camera here some one of the things that a lot of people ask us about sometimes is you know why aren't you making this tank deeper instead of bigger? And I'm gonna explain that to you. The reason that we don't make it deeper rather than bigger is because this tank has a solid rock slab in it. So if you bust through that rock, you may or may not find clay or caliche underneath it to plate it back with and make it hold. And all of the old uh, heavy equipment guys around here, tank diggers, that, that kind of stuff, they always say when you hit that solid rock, you need to stop. If you keep trying to go through that, you're gonna end up getting a tank that doesn't hold or just chasing problems. So we stopped when we got there. It's not as deep as I want it to be. I'd really like it to be, you know, 
10 or 15 foot deep, but it's it's going to end up being about 8 to 10 foot deep at the most, maybe. About 8 foot, I think, when he finally gets done. So, uh, But yeah, that's the that's update on the tank, guys. So well, before everybody gets over here, I forgot my microphones for Ag Day today. So you're not going to get as good a footage as you got last year, but I'll put the link down here so that you can see Clancy presenting last year. And I just know he's going to do even better this year. Um, and then I'll show you some clips of him doing his thing this year. It's going to be fun. And if you don't know what Ag Day is, it's where um, they bring all the local third graders from our county. I think it's third graders. Now I'm saying it gets myself, but all the third graders from around our county, um, they come and they learn about sheep, goats, cattle, honeybees, um, horses, cotton, corn, all crops, like all production agriculture and where their food and fiber comes from. So it's a pretty neat day. So anyways, Y'all stay tuned. So, they produce a lot of milk and then you make the meat and the cheese. So, can you guys tell me how big you think a meat goat is? guys the tank is finished yep they got finished today or i guess they got finished yesterday but we made it down here today so i want to show you all what it looks like so the original tank about right in here where i'm standing somewhere the tank made a made the curve right here so we've more than doubled the size of the tank here just a hair more than side more than doubled it we made it a little bit wider over here deeper that direction um, where I'm standing is going to be the spillway. So what your spillway is, is where the water runs out of your tank after it, it gets to the level, the highest point you want it. So over here to my left, kind of over there where that heifer's standing, is where the water's going to come in at. It's going to full in, flow in here, fill the tank up, and then once it gets to its full level, it should, this is pretty a pretty broad spillway so that it doesn't wash out too bad. It should just ease right out of here like this and go on around the back side of the tank and bird go out. Clance is trying to bird hunt while we're sitting here. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's, that's two he's got since we've been over here getting ready to film. Um, but yeah, so we had some questions about why we didn't dig the tank deeper instead of bigger on some other videos we posted. And the reason is, is here in the bottom of this tank, there's a rock slab. And there's, we don't know what's underneath that rock. So if we break through it, there may not be any clay. There may not be any caliche to pack back in there and plate the bottom of this tank to make it hold water. So we just, I told the tank digger, I said, hey, let's just make it bigger instead of trying to go through that, spending a bunch of money getting through it and then, and it not working. So he was able to take this white material, which is caliche. It's got a little clay in it, mix it in, pack it down in the bottom to help plug up any holes that might be in the bottom. And now we're waiting on the rain. Where'd the caliche come from? It was it it's was about three foot under the black dirt. It was already here. It was just down in there. Um, so yeah, he. he Why did, didn't you put bentonite in the bottom of it? So we we'd have to go get bentonite, and that might be something we do if the tank doesn't hold. But I think this this caliche, this natural material here, packed down in there will hold. When when he was telling me about. There used to be a big dam right here, or not really the dam, it was all the silt and stuff they pushed out of the bottom of the tank. He said when he smoothed that over and pushed it on around here to, to make the rest of the dam, that there was a lot of clay and stuff like that in it. So he felt like the last people that cleaned it out for us like 15 years ago pulled all that out of the bottom of it, and that's why it hadn't really held well since then. So, um, But we're just going to see what happens, guys. So Why don't you just put a liner in the bottom of it? Um, you know, a liner might be all right, but again, we're not in the oil field. We don't have the, the means to get to that. I think this is going to work. If it don't, we'll try something different. I think this will work. It works in 99% of the tanks around here, so we're going to give that a try. What about pigs? I, I'm not answering any more what-if questions, but... <laughs> I'm just trying to put all the yeah. things that people Somebody are going to put said, in you know, which, you know, put a fence around it and put some hogs in it. They'll stomp it in, yeah. 
we can feed some hay in the bottom of it and let the cattle and the sheep stomp it in, but I think this is gonna work this time. So we're gonna give it a try. This is the first time we've tried this at this particular tank, and I think it's gonna be fine, so. And let's clarify, so was the tank really leaking that bad or was it just um, mainly the drought or what? I think a little of both. I mean, it got so dry for so long that I, you know, it just cracked up the ground and everything. And then- uh, Cause the tank held for a good long time. Yeah, it's held for a while. We had just hadn't had enough rains, but um, it does, it did leak out quicker than I liked it to the last couple of times. So, I mean, it was completely full in May and by August it was completely empty. So that's too quick, even during the drought. That's not, that's not all going to evaporation. That's, that's going out the bottom of the tank somewhere. So hopefully we've got that stopped and we're gonna call it a day. Thank you guys for watching. Let's turn around here and get E-Dog in the video. Thank you guys for watching. Whoa, look at that sunset, Mom. Look at that. Look at that halo over her. Woo-wee. Um, like and subscribe. What else I need to do? Comment. Comment, okay. Like, tell us something. Ask tell us, us some questions. Tell us if you call it a tank or a pond. There you go. And, and we're not, if you say, why do you call it a tank? Because we grew up that way. That's how everybody here call, that's what, what you call it around here. We don't call them ponds here, so. Just like, you know, be like me asking you, why do you call it a pond? I mean, it's just because, well, we've called it our whole life. So, um, but we appreciate you joining us. We hope you found something here you liked. Come back. We try to post two times a week, Wednesdays and Sundays. Except for this last week. Who knows we if it's last week up. when this gets posted. Well, so. yeah, but sometimes we fail. We try to post two times a week, Wednesdays and Sundays, and there's always shorts almost every day, and there'll be, oh, you're going to get him another one. Did you get it? I think so. Yeah, got it. Eagle Eye taught him everything he knows. Look, he grinned like a pop. He learned eating, it from me. Eating cookies over there. That's he all. learned it from me. Um, all right, guys. We appreciate it. Y'all keep ranching. We'll see you next time. You and brought your two, shotgun. These two little cuties. Y'all always move when I try to take your... And I can't even post that because my feet were in it. Can't show my little toes that have been done. No, no. Easy dog. Easy girl. You need a bath. Yeah. We've been working on the pickup dirty. <laughs>